Bernie Goldbach. It's the 11th of May, 2014. And you might be listening to me on audioboo.fm, stroke top gold, or on YouTube. Same thing, top gold. I'm looking at the Sunday Business Post with the Sunday Times inside. In Ireland, got an American voice with an Irish newspaper. The papers all across Ireland deal with shocking revelations that affected the resignation of the Irish Minister for Justice. Inside the dossier that was passed to the Taoiseach, the Prime Minister of Ireland, cases of a psychiatric nurse who witnessed the death of a patient in Garda handcuffs, a doctor who says many of his patients were brutalized while in custody, and that he's complained about it, but he's been intimidated by the Irish police, and a teacher who claims that false allegations related to child protection concerns were made to the guardie in an attempt to discredit him. The article was written by Susan Mitchell, and it's a lead story in the Sunday Business Post. Inside the paper, online this week, the shadow resignation by Pat Leahy and uh, Michael Brennan. Typical forum, the Dublin South TD had complained that the person who wrote the report about him, Garen, had not interviewed him, had personally not contacted him, and he had not received the relevant documents from the Garda Ombudsman. Shatter's a guy that's, he's a legalist. If he'd spent more time with the mundane details of his brief, he might not have been in this hot water. There's water problems in Ireland. Well, actually, you're going to pay for the water. And there's hidden costs that people just aren't looking at. So Barry White's got a water rate comparison about like how much you'd be paying in Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, approximately 913 euro. In Cardiff, about 723 euro. In Manchester, about 710 euro. And smiling Phil Hogan, holding water in all kinds of shots last week, says 200 and some euro is all the Irish households got to pay, which is totally wrong. Irish Water's Detailed Dilemma. Michael Brennan writes that there's going to have to be a survey done. So households have to actually volunteer how much, how many people live in their house. Because the census data can't give that to them. Hogan claims that every household is going to get 30,000 liters and then 38,000 free liters for every child under 18. The thing of it is, um, that's, that's less water than what the average person uses in Wales and, and in England. So Ireland's being sold at pup again. So things are going to cost more than you think. Daddy Cloud is building a brain. Gillian Boach writes about Professor Stuart Parkin, little-known guy outside the rarefied world of experimental physics. He works in spintronics, an emerging field of nanoscale electronics. Cool. So, without him, Parkin, often known as the father of the cloud, there would be no social media, no smartphones, no iPlayer, no Spotify. What he's done is developed a way for the data reading head of a disk drive to increase the storage capacity by a thousand times. Basically means he's made data cheaper, made data services cheaper. Cool stuff. And his name? Stuart Parkin. Nice guy. Jane Rafino should have come to the ICE TEDU conference because she's writing about tech conferences needing to be more about just massaging ego. She's probably not going to get a media pass to the summit. It used to be called the Dublin Web Summit. She writes, the summit has started spamming our inboxes again, talking all kinds of things about pronouncements. And... Um, She's got a good point. She asked, why is the IDA, why are Irish um, government funds being used to fund a conference that pays a constant tribute to events that do not nurture better community just because investors and international media provide a nice quote or two about Dublin? She's got a point there. Does, does have a point. Catherine O'Mahony raises an issue that I noticed yesterday. We... Um, had the ICTU conference called Global Voices in Thurlis. And she said, you know what? Media is just letting go the issue of the, your girls that were kidnapped. And she says in her Sunday Business Post magazine article, 
that the plight of those schoolgirls has probably received less coverage in British and Irish media in the past few weeks than the, the six-year-old story about the disappearance of a single three-year-old in Portugal. Yeah, it's got a point there. So the little girl that was went missing when mom and dad went to dinner, Madeline McCann, plenty of stuff always about her. Apple's Beats is a deal boost for an Irish firm, says Philip Connolly. So Apple's going to take over, what, 2.3 billion euro deal? Take Beats Electronics. PCH, which does a lot of the logistics back end, kicking the boxes for Apple and related electronics firms, they're going to probably benefit from it. This guy, Don Deal, benefits. Gabrielle Monaghan writes about Fred Carlson, gives a full page in the Sunday Times to him. And um, cool stuff about Don Deal, uh, they've saved us money. Done deal attracts 550,000 visits a day, 140,000 new ads each month. Pre-tax profit last year of 1.3 billion million euro on income of 7.9. I like Fred, cool guy. I hope their site's responsive and mobile. It wasn't last year when I looked. But because of their system, I've been able, I was able to go to the States last year selling stuff in the house. Thank you, done deal. Hey, and might have bought something for my carry-on shopping. This is a profile inside Style Magazine. When you're a teen, doesn't really matter what you carry. When you're in your 20s, maybe you need a messenger bag. In your 30s, maybe the messenger bag in the back when you're on your bicycle. Or perhaps you have a travel bag. And in your 40s, well, a nice briefcase. I'm thinking about something all leather, one piece of leather. Probably gonna set me back more than 300 bucks though. Focus on con contact center and shared services. This is a conference, so it's a, same business post uh, item. More about it at ccma.ie. It's a commercial profile. And they're talking about the, the event at Carton House in Minute County, um, in County Coderre, May 22nd. The theme is Customer Experience Leadership. And uh, Dorothy O'Byrne, CCMA Managing Director, says the 360 degree customer experience is what is going to be measured and explained in the conference. Inside the enterprise boards, well, what is the story? Sandra O'Connell is talking about, you know, back then when you had enterprise boards separate from uh, from the community, from the enterprise Ireland, you can get a feasibility grant from your local enterprise board. Then you get a priming grant. Then you get confidence by talking to business people. Then you get mentoring. Then you get business style training at networking event. But last week, a network of 35 county and city enterprise boards morphed into 31 local enterprise offices, LEOs, and they're run by local authorities. The questions a lot of people have is, will the LEOs be any different than the county enterprise board? And what Senator O'Connell does, she says, listen, you know, you're gonna have pressure put on who gets funded or who gets the help based on who's gonna pay the rates. Maybe, maybe not. Good question some people may have. There's a reason about keeping them separate. The Guerin Report, Guerin Report, body blow for the government. A lot of people writing about it. Declan Powers got an analysis piece on it. Sharp uppercut to the jaw of the current government. They need to be able to show that they have matters in control. Basically, the report says that whistleblower Sergeant Morris McCabe basically was right, and he was right to have been investigated, his claims, but they weren't. The force has the same system in place for dealing with the management culture as well, the force does not have the same system in place for developing a management culture that's, as do police forces in other jurisdictions. So the management of the Gardaí is largely the heart of the allegations in this big report. Not social, though. We teach social as global ambitions. Caroline Allen writes about Laura Sixsmith and Amanda Webb. They decided to uh, join forces back in April 2013. Now, these courses are running about teaching how to do social media, 49 to $99 dollars. Um, motivated motivations uh, in place to help you complete your course. Uh, they have an event going on, on October 4th in the West Grove Hotel in Clane County till there. Nominations for the Irish Blog Awards will be opening on June, 4, June 1st. I used to go to that awards program when it was called the Irish Blog Awards, not Blog Awards Ireland. There's a new fund to help people more active. Coca-Cola's funding at 125,000 euro. So basically what you got to do is have a creative and engaging approach to getting people moving through sport and activity-based programs. 
uh, perhaps getting them involved in physical exercise as part of a routine. Applications open until 6 p.m. June 16th at coca-cola.ie forward slash thank you. Coca-cola.ie forward slash thank you before the 16th of June. Behind the confiscation manifesto, Declan Ganley writes, Hey, keep it bop if you're listening. I'm doing this on a Nokia Lumia 1020. Soon to lose its name. It's become a Lumia phone. Declan Ganley found Thomas Piketty's capital in the 21st century impossible to put down. Yeah, you know, I'm going through that 600-page tome as well. Good reading. And Ganley's saying wealth does not reproduce itself unless it's invested. And if it's only invested profitably, if it helps produce something people want, so then Ganley cites the iPhone. You know, you'd say, look, statistically speaking, the iPhone gave Steve Jobs a lot of money. But few would argue that the rest of us were made poorer by that, even as it made him much richer. Okay, I got work to do upstairs. Not with this Bosch. Sensex B4 Power 2, 2800 watt iron. We need new iron because, well, ours seems to get stuff on the bottom of it. The porcelain bottom of this is supposed to resist that. Let's need a watch of sorts. And I'll leave you with this. Welcome to our world. It's a bright laying ad. Tom Richard, one of the few pilots in the world to possess the talent, experience, and courage to compete in the final of the famous Reno air races. See the bottles? Mixture, the prop. Cool stuff. Don't know whether you needed to wear a watch like that, but I used to have a pilot's watch, and it wasn't as complex as this one. I need something. I've been motivated by Evelyn O'Connor, who is wearing some kind of cool watch. If you're going to do anything this weekend, and you're listening to me on Audio Boo, you might want to just get the magazine, the Sunday Times magazine, because there's good stuff in it, great ads too. And I'll have a separate audio boo about Britain and its richness, especially in London, the city with the most millionaires in the world. I'll leave you with that thought. I'm not one of these people. I am Tom Cole. I'm Bernie Goldbach, the Blown American Accounting Chip. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. <laughs>